Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on ordering decimals. Now we have these different decimal numbers here and we want to put them in ascending order. That means from smallest to largest. And what makes them decimals is that we have digits after the decimal point. And we saw that in the previous video on knowing the place value of decimal numbers. Now we use exactly the same strategy as if we were ordering whole numbers, except we need to write the numbers in such a way that we can easily see the place value. So let's write these numbers where the digits of the same place value appear in the same column. So we've got 3.74, and to keep the same place value, I'm going to put this decimal point in the same place. Then we've got 3.7, then 3.705, then 3.499, and then we've got 37.1. And this here, that's the tens digit, that's the units digit, that's the tenths digit, and that's the hundredths digit. Now, as we saw in the video on ordering whole numbers, we always look at the place value with the highest worth first. So we're going to look at the tens digit. Now, effectively, there's no digit here, so they, they're effectively zeros. So let's put a zero there for the tens digit, because we don't have any tens. So we want the smallest one. We look at the tens digit. Which of these is the smallest? Well, zero is smaller than three, so it's going to be these four first, and then the 37.1 is going to go last. So let's put that there first. If we're putting these in order, one, two, three, four, five. That's the highest tens digit, so that's going to go last. Now, what about the others? Now, it's a draw between the different tens digits, so we then have to look at the next digit, which is a units digit. Now, again, they're all three. It's a draw. So we now have to look at the next digit, which is a tenths digit. So here we can see we've got a four, seven, seven, seven. Four is clearly the smallest, so we're going to put that one first. So it's three... 0.499. So we've done with this one, and we've got rid of this one, and now it's between these. So they all have seven as a tenth digit, it's a draw, so we have to look at the next digit, the hundredth digit. Now there's no digit here at all, so I'm just going to put a zero there. And again, we've got a five here, but nothing here, so I'm just going to put zeros there, just to make it a bit easier. So out of these hundredth digits, which one is the smallest? Well, four is the biggest, so let's put that last. But these are both zero, yep? So it's a draw, and then we have to go to the next digit, which is the hundredth digit. So which one is smaller, the zero or the five? Well, the zero is smaller, so that one is gonna be the next smallest. And then it must be 3.705 next. So just to repeat the strategy, we could write the numbers again, but where we line up the digits so they have the same place value in each column, then we always look at the place value with the highest worth first and look which one is the smallest, and that goes first. Now, if it's a draw, we have to look at the next digit. 